Straight out that Dallas, Texas, Arrow the Truth Spence gives his take on Ja Morant being suspended by the NBA for showing off a pistol on IG once again in less than three months. We gonna talk about it, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you are not already a sub to the channel. What's happening with it, y'all? Now, if y'all follow the NBA, y'all know the story on Ja Morant, superstar NBA guard that played with the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, a few months ago, Ja Morant, he was suspended eight games by the NBA because he was all on IG in the strip club, you know, showing off a pistol that he had. You know, just some young, ignorant stuff, but he young, so, you know, these young cats, they gonna mimic what they see their favorite rappers doing, what they see happening on these music videos. And yeah, he is an NBA superstar, but he's still that age where he young and he gonna F up and he just gonna do silly shit. So when you young, you gonna do ignorant stuff like that. And a lot of these young cats, they doing a whole lot worse than that. So, you know, he got suspended eight games by the NBA. And he had to do a public apology and all of that, right? But when he was doing his public apology, I'm looking and I'm like, man, they made this dude say this. This stuff that John Morant is saying in this public apology, he don't want to say it. You could tell. Go back and just Google John Morant NBA public apology or interview, you know, talking about his eight game suspension, right? He had to do it and able to come back. But I mean, like, it was just so fake and scripted. You could just tell. And it was kind of funny to me how scripted and how fake it was. So I'm looking at the interview where he's doing this apology and I get to cracking up laughing because I'm like, man, this got to be some of the most comedic, funniest, scripted shit I've seen in a long, long time. Like he ain't learned nothing. I'm looking at it like he ain't learned nothing and he don't believe none of that stuff that he's saying. But anyway, so he was suspended. Eight games. He was all up in the strip club, you know, toting the pistol, waving the pistol and everything. And of course, like all these young cats do, they got to record everything that they do live on IG and let the whole world see it. So, you know, whatever. He had his eight game suspension and he came back. But see, John Morant, man, he been in a whole bunch of like little situations. He's been implicated in a whole bunch of trouble throughout the time that he came to the NBA. And he want to be hood. Like he want to be hood so bad. He want to be from the hood. But he grew up a rich kid. He grew up having money. But he just like one of them little white kids that parents is rich. You know, daddy and mama rich. But they want to act like they from the hood. That's John Morant. And you're not from the hood. But anyway, you know, he had his eight game suspension and the world thought he learned this lesson. They was like, man, it ain't no way he going to get suspended again for doing the same thing. But this past weekend, yeah, what he do? He do the same thing. He riding with one of his partners. You know what I'm talking about? He waving his gun all up on IG, all up in the air, right? His partner is recording. He sees that his partner is recording. And his partner sees that John Morant got his pistol out, waving it all up in the camera. So he tries to catch John Morant and put his camera down real quick. Like, oh, man, I know if this get out, John Morant going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Everybody going to have it on ESPN. It's going to be all over the news. And he probably going to get suspended for a long, long time. So he tried to put his camera down. But by that time, it was already too late because, you know, the whole world is watching. Everybody screen records. Everybody is trying to get the news out. Everybody trying to get paid off of some news. They don't care if they ruin another athlete's career. They don't care about none of that. It's all about trying to get the news out to... These news outlets, TMZ, you know, wherever they can get it to get a little bread off of it. Now, I'm about to get into what Errol Spence felt about the situation. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to cook on how I feel about the situation. Now, what Errol Spence did is he actually reposted a tweet that Juan Toscano Anderson had posted up. And for those of y'all who don't know who Juan Toscano Anderson is, he's a fellow NBA player himself. So EJ reposted what he had to say about the situation and he put facts. Now, this is what one Toscano Anderson posted up. He says, if people got their phone out recording my privacy and my private time, that's a way to never be invited around me again. 
However, I'm mature enough to understand accountability, but why they always record? So this is my take on the situation, right? So first off, John Morant already knew that his partner was recording and he knew that his partner was on IG Live in the first place. Now, ain't nobody saying that John Morant ain't supposed to have a pistol on him. Ain't nobody telling him not to have a pistol on him. But the whole thing is you just got suspended for this same situation. You got to be a damn idiot to do the same thing on IG once again. It ain't like you didn't know he was recording. It ain't like he was trying to be secretive about the situation you know what I'm talking about he put his phone down when he seen you pull out the pistol didn't nobody tell this ignorant ass dude to pull out a pistol and do the same thing that he just lost millions and millions of dollars over Bruh, this dude want to be hood so bad, but he got an NBA contract for over 250 some million dollars but that ain't even all the money he get when you count all the endorsements that that kid was getting not only that, right, what's so dumb about the situation is he's already had lost over 50 some million dollars from his last suspension because he did that. He lost endorsements and all of that, right? But he still had more endorsements. They was actually working on the new shoe with Nike for this man. Now he didn't lost that. Now he probably going to get suspended for the whole year just because he want to act like he NBA young boy or somebody. You know what I'm talking about? You not NBA young boy. You not from where NBA young boy is from. You didn't have to grow up like NBA young boy had to grow up. So he just ignorant. And some of these young dudes, it don't matter how much money they have, what they got going for them, however they was raised, they still going to be idiots. And that's what he is. He just a damn idiot. But see, the thing is, if I was running the NBA, this how I run it. Right? This is what I would do in this situation. I say, okay, you want to be hood so bad? You know what I'm saying? You wish you was from the hood that bad? You got two choices. I'll either suspend you from the NBA for the next two years. You're going to lose millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Right? Then when you come back, according to whatever team wants you or if they want to pay you, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to work out a whole new contract. Or you can go ahead, you can play in the NBA this season. We not going to suspend you, but you know what you're going to do? You're going to move up out of your mansion, that great big huge mansion, and living over there with all them white people where there's no crime is at. You're going to move out of that mansion, and you're going to move in the hood. You know what I'm saying? You want to be from the hood with NBA young boy and all these other rappers that you see? Well, you're going to move in that hood right where they from. So you got a choice. You know what I'm saying? Pick your choice. Pick your choice. I'm giving you a choice. Pick it. You want to be from the hood so bad? Uh Uh-huh. We're going to find you a a spot in the hood. And you got to stay there throughout your whole NBA season. If you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. You know, that's what I do. You know what I'm talking about? Then we're going to see how hood he really want to be. We really going to see how hood he really want to be. See, that's how I would run it. You know what I'm saying? I give him a choice. Then we're going to see how hood he really is. And he going to quickly realize that he going to need more than that little 9mm or 40 cal pistol that he got. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You want to get on IG and do all that ignorant shit? Well, you're going to realize you're going to need more than that. So you can have all the pistols you want, but we're going to move you in the little spot in the hood since you want to be from there. Yeah, that's what I do. I bet you he'll stop that shit real, real quick. And I bet you next time he do a public apology, that public apology going to be straight from the heart. I mean, you got to be half retarded. You got to be Rolando Rolly Romero retarded to get in trouble for the same thing in about two months, right? Two months after you got suspended for eight games, you going to turn around and do the same shit again? Like, how dumb can you be? So, yeah, man, he don't need no endorsements. He don't need no NBA contract because it's like when you that damn stupid, why you even need 200, 300 million dollars? Because all you're going to do is just do more stupid shit and continue to destroy your life. Like, I don't understand it. You know what I'm talking about? Once he first got in trouble for this situation, hey, if I was him, I'd be on my best behavior. Don't, I'm, I don't want to be on no IG. I don't want you to record nothing. I don't want to do none of that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to do none of that. 
I got hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. I don't even want to kick it with y'all. You feel me? But yeah, uh, like I said, nobody told him to put that pistol all in front of the camera. It ain't like that his homeboy snuck and was on IG. He knew that his partner was recording. He knew that his partner was on IG. That's why he pulled the pistol out doing all that ignorant shit in the first place because he seen the camera up. So like I said, man, I don't know what's wrong with him, but he gonna learn, right? And if it was me running the NBA, he really would learn. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. How long do y'all think he should be suspended for? Um, do y'all agree with what Errol Spence retweeted? And just, you know, I want to hear from y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about the whole situation. Y'all already know how I do. Dang, I'm talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.